So sample editing, and this is generally, it's just for what we have to do this for, as far as I know, what I did it for in previous was loops that are in a key and tempo. Um, so that's this square, it looks like a waveform. Uh, let me go actually to um, one that's a loop. All right. Let's see here. There we go, that one's a loop. So now we're on that pad, and you can say, hey, here's the loop. Um, what you can see here, uh, I have entered in the tempo and uh, the key, which was D-sharp minor. And uh, you can see here, boom, boom. This is E-flat, it's the same thing. Um, and basically one thing you just have to know, one tip with this, is when you enter it, hit enter. Because otherwise, if you skip to the next thing, it'll just revert to whatever it detected this as. And it's off and off, it'll be like 92.17 or like 48 for some reason or some random number. And that matters, it doesn't matter if you're not doing this next step, which is, um, you know, next what we have to do is, um, uh, let's see here. Oh, yes, here it is. Okay, and wave under here where uh, there's that same loop, you can see uh, this warp button. You have to engage warp uh, Mr. Sulu, and um, you can see it's the correct BPM 93. Um, before you put the warp button on, um, make sure it's the correct tempo that it actually committed to uh, what you had put in here. Um, occasionally I've just noticed that it doesn't uh, do that and I have to re-enter it real quick because otherwise it mangles this and it's off tempo and then your whole thing's messed up. Um, and the main purpose of this is just with these loops. So if somebody's pulling up something at 97, and they pull it, they're working on a project, their own project 97, they pull up your kit, then, you know, this fits their tempo and they don't have to uh, mess with it. Um, that's the whole purpose of that.